Hi YouTube, this poll is just for paintball. I'm here to give you guys a review of my Vanguard Demon 2013. And uh tell you guys what I like about the gun and don't like about the gun and whether you should buy it or not. Okay. Start out with um the gun comes with two 14 inch barrels. Right here. Very good barrels. Uh, very good porting. Um, comes with a um, 6.85 and a 6.89. I think it's perfect for rec ball. 6.89 is a little big for me now, but I use the 6.85 and it worked great. The regulator is a holster design, no fittings, uh, easy maintenance. Just take off the cover. Okay. That's the piston in there. That's the bottom part, which you don't need to ma maintain as much. Uh, piston and spring is there. Stick it right back on. Okay. Regulator is very, very easy to maintain. That's all you need to do is take that cover off and pull the piston out, re-lube it, clean it inside and put it back in. So plus for that, very good, uh, very good size, comfortable to hold, whether or not you hold it a certain way, uh, it's very comfortable to hold. Grip frame, very large grip frame, as you can see here, with the OLED board. Uh, a couple people, some people tend to complain about the trigger, but uh, it really reminds me of the CP trigger on my shocker, so I have no problem with it. It feels fine to me. Um, very responsive. Uh, I've never had a problem, nor do I want to change it. So, and the grip, very large for uh, large hands. Okay. Uh, the grips, grips are very soft, uh, grippy. I haven't had any problems uh, with it slipping out of my hands, nor do I have to apply extra pressure to hold on to the gun, keep control of it. Um, just a s simple grip and it holds fine, uh, which I love. Uh, the OLED screen is here. You can see there it's on. It's on semi. Uh, the set, the settings, are very easy to change. The modes are, it's very easy to cycle through. You just hold down the middle button again, and the menu comes up, and you just cycle within the menu. Very easy, very simple. I love the board. Works great. Uh, on off ASA, it's integrated of course because of the posted design. Um, there's um, air going through the grip frame. Uh, it's a knob design, and the knob does come off, which I don't like, but it does take a lot of turns for it to come off, which works out in the design. I'm going to try to take it off for you and see how many turns it takes. Right, and there he goes. Okay? Back in. So it does take quite a bit of turns for it to actually fall off, so I don't really worry about it. The body, the body is beautiful. I like the curves, nothing too crazy. It has nice lines. I love the whole look of it. Um, it is a toolless design. You can turn this with your hand. You can see there. Okay. Eye covers. Nice and small. Okay. That has the detents and the and the the, and the the eyes. Kind of feed neck, really basic kind of feed neck. I love about the speed neck is it actually takes the rotor. 
in almost fully so there's no modification needed um, if you guys like your rotor really low so it's perfect I love it Okay. Uh, let me show you guys the back of this that's the pad to adjust the settings three buttons up down and uh, enter Okay. pretty much middle turn it on and then up and down to cycle through the menu works great this little panel is for the charging port just a little allen screw take it out and uh, plug it in okay, down to the performance of the gun gun shoots great very smooth shoots very fast very consistent uh, when I first got the gun I had no problems with it uh, after playing with it maybe two games two full day of games it did start leaking on me um, I looked it up online and it is a common problem that I think you guys should know due to the new design of the bolt system the whole QEV list design they have a shuttle valve which replaces the QEV down for you guys. Okay, just down here. This is a Vanguard Demon Bolt. Here in the middle, in the black, is the shuttle valve. This cycles forward and back to cut air from the front and the back, or however it works. Pretty much that replaced our QAV that used to be there. Uh, it's an amazing design. Uh, it does lower the pressure down to approximately 90, which is great. Makes the gun super efficient. But I am not 100% sure. This is just my guess. Is that these middle O-rings focus? These middle O-rings are way too small that's just me that's uh, I don't I haven't talked to anybody else about it but I think personally the o-rings are a little too small making them a little too soft um, the first time it started leaking on me I took this bolt system apart and took all the o-rings off to see where it could possibly be leaking and these these two O-rings, including the ones on the inside of this, on this um, shuttle valve, all had little tiny nicks in it. In total, the inside had about eight nicks in the two O-rings, and the outside had like six. I didn't know where it was coming from and why it had so many chunks taken out of it. But my guess is the the transfer holes, the air transfer holes, are getting caught on the O-rings and slicing a little bit of it. Um, either that or when I put it in the gun, it's getting caught on the threads and getting little little nicks in it. Um, that I would understand, but it being nicked on the trans air transfer holes, I don't see how why that would happen. But it did, um, it's gotten better. Um, I have done some stuff to the bolt just for it to be better. For one, when I first got this gun, it was actually getting bolt stick. Um, I was using tech lube, which is fairly thick, but due to the leak, I needed to use tech lube. And um, it, it, it helped it drastically compared to the monkey poo I was using it to begin with. So, I was using tech lube and it was getting bolt stick. This bolt tip right here, I'd push it down and it would stay down. And it didn't really make sense to me like this. It's getting stuck. But, the, the spring on this, because it's a sprung bolt, 
the spring on this isn't very strong and at first I thought it was it was normal but really it shouldn't be sticking so what I did was I actually polished this bolt if you see it's a little bit shinier than the other ones there you go this part's a little shinier than this part yeah I actually polished the bolt and I polished the shuttle valve and I also polished the inside of this can um, cause there was a lot of scratching um, there's still a little bit of scratching but not as bad um, with the surfaces and I knew that's part of the reason why it was sticking and part of the reason why these o-rings are going bad so fast so I had I polished um, this shuttle valve and the the transfer holes I actually filed it down a little bit on the edges so it wouldn't scratch scratch up the o-rings on the inside so I did that and I noticed uh, there was no more nicks um, now it's just pretty much air getting through the o-rings uh, when it does leak um, which isn't often after I did the after I did the polishing the leak virtually went away um, especially with the tech lube uh, right now I'm using monkey poo lube and it still leaks once in a while but you shoot a couple times and it goes away and it'll be gone for a while and it come, it'll come back it'll creep back but um, when I use a tech lube gone um, not until maybe you know another day or so after now I hate to have to do that but it worked um, it worked in my benefit I was worried I would get some leaking issues but I had no problems um, now the bolt comes up by itself usually <laughs> It's slow on lube. I haven't lubed it in a while. Um, I was just I just got finished shooting it around, but um, it's great. Um, after that, it shot great. I was able to lower the dwell. Uh, default was 15. I lowered it to 13. I'm sure it'll go down some more, but I do want to break in the O-rings a little more before I do that, because um, I did replace the O-rings again. Uh, so I do want to break that in again, and I'm sure I can lower it down to at least 11. Um, um, if you if you are planning on getting one, just be careful with these O-rings. If you notice, I, I changed the outer O-rings to these green O-rings. These are HNBR, I believe they're called, and they're super tough. Um, when I first got it, I was getting them scratch and the thread, putting them in. Now nothing, no, no scratch. Um, I can take them out, put them back in. If there's no damage on them. They just last longer. They're just a little tougher, uh, just a little better. Um, so that's what I suggest. If you see here, H and B R O rings, and on the inside, um, that's actually in contact with this bolt. I have Vuitton O rings, which is a little harder material. Not so much tougher, but harder. Um, it'll make it smoother after it's broken in. It'll be a smoother sliding effect on the bolt um, and a pretty good seal so that's what I have for this uh, we'll see after it's broken in probably a couple games and it should be good so <coughs> oh, excuse me guys allergies uh, anyway so that's the bolt system that's the only problem I've had with this gun is this shuttle valve here. Um, other than that, the sh gun shoots great. Uh, the board is great. Everything that comes with it is great. Uh, it comes with a nice leather case, a nice, a nice CD manual. Uh, you just have to put it in your computer, but you know, it's a, it's a nice thorough manual. Uh, everything fits on it perfectly. It's really made for professional play um, um, if, it, uh, if it wasn't for this I would give it a 10 
or at least a 9.5 uh, but due to the leak I would give it a, a, a solid 9 because um, it after I polished it I mean I guess for the everyday person that is not able to polish it or doesn't have the time to get it polished I would rate it probably eight eight and a half just cuz it is a problem and a normal paintball player I guess wouldn't bother even thinking about fixing it and just trade it back in um, but I love it it shoots great um, when I was on the field it was so quiet so quiet, shot so straight and so consistent. You guys can see in my video that I, I, I was loving it. But uh, just make sure when you're putting this bolt system back in, leave the first o ring in and then make sure it's straight. Because I was getting that wrong the first couple times when I got this gun, when it first started leaking. That I was putting it in crooked and I was nicking the, the second o-ring on these threads and that's part of the reason why I started leaking okay. so there you go guys um, it's great I love it definitely recommend it if you guys are willing to tech the gun it's not as easy as it looks but I love it thanks guys